Now on 4 News Now at 6, a local nanny charged with murdering a four-month-old. What led investigators to believe that nanny was involved in the child's death? And here comes the sun just in time for the weekend. I'll let you know if we can expect the return of wet weather anytime soon in your first alert forecast. And the Zags men's and women's basketball teams are trying to earn their spot in the Elite Eight tonight. We have team coverage on the Zags roads to the championship. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. New details on a nanny accused of murdering an infant. Police say Sharon Arger emerged as a suspect because her story kept changing. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Derek Dice has the night off. New court documents revealed what caused Preston Schweitzer's death and more than a dozen explanations Sharon Arger gave police about his injuries. We do want to give you a warning. The series of events is difficult to hear. Jordan Smith is live from the courthouse tonight. Jordan. Yeah, Kirsten, in the affidavit of probable cause, we learned that Sharon Arger had been a nanny with this family for about two years, but was only alone with the children on three separate occasions. And on one of those days was the day that Preston was admitted to the emergency room. Do you understand why you're in custody this afternoon? Yes. In court Friday, Sharon Arger sat before a judge, her demeanor noticeably shaken, giving one word responses to the court commissioner as the affidavit was read back to her. She was arrested Thursday afternoon, four months after the death of four-month-old infant Preston Schweitzer. According to court documents, Arger had only been watching Preston and his two-year-old brother unsupervised for one week before the incident happened. On November 2nd, Arger called 911, saying Preston was unconscious. First responders at Airway Heights tried CPR before rushing him to the NICU at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. Preston's parents were at work, his mom watching her son be carried out on a stretcher through security cameras. At Sacred Heart, doctors discovered alarming injuries. They found Preston had a fractured skull, brain bleeding, and six broken ribs. Court documents stated that an MRI revealed his spine was damaged in what were described as shaking types of injuries. The medical examiner comparing Preston's injuries to someone being thrown off a horse. He died six days after being admitted. The official cause of death was blunt force injuries to the head. Police interviewed Arger on multiple occasions. According to court documents, Arger had provided 16 different explanations as to what might have caused these injuries to Preston, telling police that his two-year-old brother threw a trike at Preston and hit him in the head. Doctor said it was, quote, absolutely not possible a toddler could have caused these injuries. Arger emerged as a suspect when her story began changing, including different locations as to where she found Preston unconscious in the house. And court documents also say that Arger, uh, that when Arger began caring for Preston on November 2nd, he had no notable injuries other than an unexplained, unexplained bruising on his bottom. And she's now been issued a $1 million bond. Her arraignment is scheduled for April 9th. Live at the Spokane County Courthouse tonight, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now. Jordan, thank you. Just a very difficult story to hear. Um, all week long just been very very difficult and the bright spot for me Matt has been the weather team um, you all have been promising a reward at the end of the week mm -hmm. and you made good on your promise we're, ma we're making good on it we're <laughs> we're getting some brownie points and they will last through the weekend just in time for people to get mad at us again next week but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there let's talk about the weather right now which has really improved instead of raining uh, almost every hour when we're seeing some of the small hail we saw yesterday it has been very quiet today around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene or in the low 50s in Spokane right now in Coeur d'Alene we are in the upper 40s now we are not necessarily out of the woods yet when it comes to Perhaps seeing a sprinkle or two before the day is over. As you can see over the last few hours, there has been a little bit of rain out there, but already you can see at the very end of this three hour loop how the areas of green, those areas of rain, starting to shrink a little bit as we start to lose that energy as the sun begins to get lower and lower in the sky. Now, that said, there is a notable cluster here of some of these little showers just to the north and to the west of Spokane. They have been pushing their way to the south, so we may have an opportunity to see 
just a little sprinkle move into the Spokane and Kootenai County areas. And we've actually seen a couple south of Coeur d'Alene and uh, north of Hayden Lake here just in the past few minutes. But you can see some spotty showers from Electric City into the Wilbur area and then all the way north towards Inchelium, Colville, and Chewila. Overall, these are nothing close to what we saw yesterday or the day before. So it is all good as far as you may get a two-minute sprinkle, but the vast majority of us are going to be A-OK. -okay. Here's the rest of your evening. Temperatures falling through the 40s and eventually reaching the upper 30s around midnight. And we've got some beautiful weather on the way for the weekend. I'll show you how long it will last coming up. Thank you, Matt. The Zags are continuing their road to the championship tonight. The Zags are hoping to punch their ticket to the Elite Eight, but to do that, they'll have to defeat the number one seed Purdue Boilermakers. And right now, Purdue is leading 51-48. Our Peter Choi is live at Logan Tavern, where fans are hoping for a comeback, Peter. Kirsten, I think it's better to just show you the energy I'm feeling right now. Where's the Gonzaga fans at? That's it. That's it. There's so much energy from Gonzaga fans right now. And take a look at this. There's a cheering uh, for the victory. And then earlier, I spoke with a diehard fan here. And, and what he thinks about both men's and women's basketball team in the Sweet 16. Now take a listen. It's super exciting as a fan to see both programs uh, going this far and having this much success this late in the season. Now some fans here came here extra early today just to get the best seat to watch the game. And they also told me it's not about a win or lose, it's about the spirit. So for now, oh, there you go, there you go, live from the Zag Nation, Peter Choi, for News Now. Looks like the Zags just came up a little, 51-53 now. That must have been what all that screaming and cheering was about. This isn't the first time the Zags have played the Boilermakers this season. We know the Bulldogs lost in their last matchup, but the players say this time they're prepared. Sports director Julian Minnesone has more. A rematch between Gonzaga and Purdue from that game back in November, which the Boilermakers won by 10 points. Gonzaga actually led that game at halftime, but then we're outscored in the second half by 15. Now, this one has a lot more stakes. Winner to the Elite Eight. Gonzaga trying to go to their second straight Elite Eight. They went last year in a drama-filled game, beating UCLA, but now they're playing the top seed Boilermakers. Gonzaga, the underdog going into this one, but that's exactly how they like it. The team all year long has adopted that underdog mentality. Part press to call Gonzaga an underdog these days going to 25 straight NCAA tournaments but they're here ninth straight sweet 16 and they're looking to finish the job and get to the elite eight tonight we're gonna have post game coverage for you here on four news now but for now reporting in Detroit Julian Minnesota four news now sports thanks Julian the Gonzaga men aren't the only team trying to secure a spot in the elite eight the GU women are in Portland tonight for their sweet 16 matchup against Texas Sydney Berger is in studio with me tonight to talk about what the Zags need to do to pull off a win against a very good Texas team Sydney Kirsten absolutely right the Texas Longhorns are a one seed for a reason and the Zags say they can't really compare a team they've played this season to Texas forward Eliza Hollingsworth says the Longhorns are super strong excellent at rebounding and a very physical team. The Zags have to be nearly perfect tonight if they want to move on to the next round, but the Bulldogs are up for the challenge. I'm excited to, to challenge ourselves against new opponents. I think that is an important way to win throughout this tournament is you can't just win one way. You have to win multiple ways, and so I'm excited for, to, see, to see someone new. If you want to be the best, you have to beat the best, and that's the mindset the Zags have going into their first Sweet, sweet 16 since 2015 with hopes of their first Elite Eight bid since 2011. The four-seed Bulldogs will face the one-seed Longhorns in just about an hour. We'll have highlights and post-game coverage for both Gonzaga men and women tonight on 4 News Now Nightside. Another major hit for the Cougs men's basketball team. Today, the team's center, Ruben Chinelu, told ESPN he's leaving WSU. Chinelu was a defensive powerhouse for the Cougs, averaging five rebounds and one block per game. In his announcement, he thanked his teammates and the greater Coug, Coug community, saying, your kindness and hospitality have created an environment where anyone can thrive. I'm deeply grateful for your unwavering support. Chinelu's announcement comes days after his teammate Miles Rice and head coach Kyle Smith also said they're leaving WSU. Kirsten. 
Thanks, Sydney. Well, still ahead, multiple major construction projects set to begin next week. We'll let you know which major Spokane roads will be closed and which ones will be reduced to only one lane. And your Easter basket going to cost you more this year. What holiday staple is making prices skyrocket coming up? Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Save your green! Come win at the end this April. The Kootenai Casino is your destination for big fun and cash prizes. We're giving away tons of cash and bonus play, along with great deals on rooms, spa services, and dining. Stay at the Kootenai Falls Lodge midweek, starting at just $69, or upgrade to a Riverview room for $89. Book your getaway today and get ready to win big. Call 888-YOU-ARE-LUCKY or visit KootenyRiverInn.com. Visit AutoNation Acura Spokane Valley for attractive offers on a new vehicle. Home. It's both a place and a feeling. At yours, you strive to make new memories. Create traditions. Share stories. Find the fun. Embrace the surprises. And celebrate moments big and small. Memories are made at home. In every room, in every moment, make your house feel like home at the Tin Roof. What's beyond the door to your future? No matter the career, FAFSA can help you get there. Filling out the FAFSA opens doors to the WA Grant, the most generous grant available in the United States today. In Washington, a family of four making up to $120,000 could be eligible for free WA Grant money when they fill out the FAFSA. So fill out the FAFSA and open doors to your future. Visit launchnw.org slash FAFSA opens doors today. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Today through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation in one day only. New 2024 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. It is a busy time of year at Spokane International Airport right now. Parents don't need a reminder of that because it's spring break and a lot of travelers are trying to get to their destinations. We met with one family who was decked out in their Zags gear this morning. They say spring break traveling is their family tradition. I work at GU. They had theirs a few weeks ago. Are you excited? <laughs> Where are we going? To <laughs> If you are traveling this weekend, give yourself lots of time to park and go through the TSA checkpoint. The Spokane Airport suggests getting to the airport at least two hours before your flight boards. Construction season is in full swing because the weather's nice and there are some major projects starting Monday that you're going to want to know about. On Monday, Bigelow Gulch will close between Weil and Havana until late fall. During that time, crews will be working on a new water drainage system. Also resurfacing the road and installing more street lights. And this is also Monday. 29th Avenue is going to be reduced to one lane in each direction between Grand and Ray, while crews work on two separate overlay projects. For more information on these projects, as well as other detour information, head on over to KXLY.com. Man, we're in the 50s today, and that's some good news after we were stuck in the 40s with all the wet weather we saw in the past couple of days. But I tell you what, this is going to pale in comparison to our temperatures just a few days from now. We'll show you how warm we'll get and how long it'll last. Coming up in your forecast. Covered a lot of twisted, dark stories, but I've never seen anything quite like this. It was terrifying. 
Elisa was a very beautiful woman. She just seduced him. This is where the nightmare began. Elisa had asked, would horse tranquilizer kill a human being? And I said, you mean a horse? She says, no, a person. This is crazy. The 2020 event. I hadn't thought about that in a very long time. Tonight on ABC. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now, Road to the Championship, is brought to you by Northwest Specialty Hospital. This Thursday through Saturday only, it's the three-day sale at Furniture Row. And that means the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend, plus four years no interest financing. But don't wait. The three-day sale at Furniture Row ends Saturday the 30th. Introducing the Chevy family of SUVs. Do more with tech. Do more with safety. Do more with style. The Chevy family of SUVs. There's one for everything you do. Get 1.9% financing on select popular Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Comfort and peace. When a loved one is in need of end-of-life care, it's more than care. It's warmth and dignity in the face of advanced illness. Courage binds us all. The courage in facing a terminal illness together. Our care team have dedicated their lives to alleviating pain, discomfort, and providing licensed, around-the-clock medical attention. We are Hospice of North Idaho, and we are honored to care for your loved one. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. Dreaming of the delightful drowsiness of the perfect mattress? Then the three-day sale at Denver Mattress is for you. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend, plus four years no interest and free shipping. Score sweet savings on some serious shut-eye only at Denver Mattress. Next E.T. E.T. Vault Unlocked, Kevin Costner. From Westerns to sports films, E.T. on set of Kevin's iconic films. It is a good job. Next <laughs> E.T. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. What are the questions every couple should ask and answer before jumping in to marriage, owning a home, and having children? Next week on GMA, oh yeah, we're going there. Before you take the lead. Next week on Good Morning America. Bloom's Day is quickly approaching, and if you haven't signed up yet, you have until Monday to do so before registration jumps up to $35. We have a link to register right now on KXLY.com. And Matt, the weather's going to be perfect to do some running outside. Absolutely. It's going to be some great time to get some uh, get some training in yeah. or, you know, maybe just uh, get some shin splints like I probably will do. Uh, this, <laughs> Either way, this week, you get yeah. vitamin D and exactly. that's what we all need right now. It, it, very, especially this time of the year because we're starting to get to the point where we can actually get some absorption from the sun after a long, long winter. Four things you got to know about your weather. It's going to be a sunny weekend. It's going to be beautiful out there. We're going to be getting warmer each day, not just to the weekend, but also through the start of the upcoming week. And we've got 70s on tap for next week, right before, yes, I'm sorry, but another big cool down is coming. We want to make sure you're aware of it. We do have some showers, some little spots and dots of rain still out there tonight, but by 10 o'clock, everything will have wrapped up. These are very weak showers, and by the time we get to uh, a few hours after sunset, there is going to be no way that those are going to still hold together. Then as we head through tomorrow, pretty quiet, partly cloudy in the afternoon. It's going to be a little bit of energy that comes down the Bitterroot Mountains right on the state line between Idaho and Montana. And we may see one or two showers, but they'll likely be confined to mountain areas. And so we're keeping the rain chances super low, 10% or less for your Saturday. I do not think that that is something that you have to worry about. And same goes for Sunday. And well, we'll talk about the next time just in a little bit. But let's start off with your Saturday. If you're taking the kids out for some Easter egg hunting, we are going to see a pretty quick warm up through the morning hours, 9 a.m., upper 30s. We're already be in the mid 40s around 11 o'clock. So upper 40s, low 50s. Just remember the sunshine makes it feel a little bit warmer. So definitely uh, you probably lean towards one layer down as opposed to 
having the extra layer on for this weekend in general. And then we spend a good amount of time in the 50s for the afternoon. Uh, at least for me, that's one of my kind of most perfect temperatures right there. Upper 50s, low to mid 60s, great time to spend outside. And you don't have to worry about rain. As I mentioned before, we're not going to worry about the wet weather really up until we get to Wednesday. That's going to be our first day that we have to start watching the radar once again. In the meantime, here are your temperatures for tonight. Not much to write home about. We will drop below freezing across most of North Idaho. It will get below freezing very briefly around Spokane and into the Palouse region as well as some of our northeastern valleys. Just a little bit below our average for this point of the year, but nothing too crazy. And then as we get into the afternoon, let's take a look at our temperatures for tomorrow. We'll be in the mid 50s instead of low 50s around the metro. 60s for the LC Valley, Moses Lake, Omak, and around the Grand Coulee. And we'll even see some middle 50s in places like Colville and Bonners Ferry. And then we just keep on rising from there. I expect quite a few more 60s for Easter Sunday. Your average is about 52. That's this black line down here. And then by the time we get to Tuesday, I think we're going to see some pretty widespread 70s across eastern Washington. And then I think we'll be pretty close in many places in North Idaho. And then the changes come. So we have a huge drop here for Wednesday to Thursday from that high that we're going to see for our temperatures for the week on Tuesday. Cold air is going to come in. Windy weather with a chance for some rain Wednesday and then by next Thursday, it may be cold enough that we see something a little bit more than rain falling from the sky. So my bottom line for you is enjoy this beautiful weather while it's here. He means scropple or hail or... Sure. You're not yeah. using that S word again, are yeah, you? No, why would, no. I, why would I say that? <laughs> wow. I'm just going to keep thinking positive thoughts like <laughs> Easter egg hunts. Here's a list where you can get your egg hunt on this weekend. The big one in Riverfront Park starting at 10 a.m. for the little ones and 10.35 for ages 6 and up. Over 20,000 eggs will be hidden all across the park. You can expect your Easter basket to cost a lot more this year. That's because cocoa prizes prices rather are surging, but that's not stopping consumers from spending a record amount on the holiday. CNN's Ivan Rodriguez has more. Easter is this weekend and many Americans will expect to spend on average close to $200 per person for the holidays, which comes as chocolate prices are rising. Now that's in large part because of cocoa, which is a key ingredient has spiked. Easter spending is hopping off the charts this spring. It is a holiday that a lot of consumers do get into the spirit for. Americans are expected to shell out nearly $180 per person on Easter-related items this year, bringing total national spending to $22.4 billion, according to the National Retail Federation. While those numbers are slightly down from last year, the NRF says it's still the third highest per person spending on record. Consumers are expected to spend $7.3 billion on food, with an additional $3.1 billion expected to be spent on candy. And if you're hunting for chocolate bunnies and eggs this year, you may experience sticker shock. It's a massive issue for the industry. Retail chocolate prices rose 11.6% across all of 2023, drastically outpacing the 3.4% annual rise in the overall consumer price index. That's due to the soaring price of cocoa, which is a key ingredient for chocolate. It's a classic climate change issue of like, you know, crazy weather. Too wet, too dry, and therefore crop yields just shrink. Cocoa futures have more than doubled since January, hitting a record high of $10,000. Currently, they've broken all notions of what a record was as of about six weeks ago. Robert says as cocoa supply remains low and prices soar, some chocolatiers will likely explore cost-cutting alternatives, from shrinking product sizes to promoting other sweets like gummies. Robert says consumers can continue to expect rising prices as the price of cocoa especially is going to impact retailers closer to Halloween and even have an impact on Christmas confections. In Atlanta, I'm Ivan Rodriguez. Still ahead, a man found guilty for murdering an 82-year-old in Deer Park. The other crimes he's been connected to when we come back. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app.
If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2024 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. With standard symmetrical all-wheel drive and up to 32 miles per gallon. Plus, 97% of Outback vehicles sold in the last 10 years are still on the road today. The 2024 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Drive with 1.9% financing during the Subaru A Lot to Love event at AutoNation Subaru. Start living your life to the fullest by living simply in a tiny home from portable cedar cabins. Less is truly more with all the amenities and comforts of a traditional home with a much smaller footprint. Each home is custom built and ready for you to move in and start enjoying the little things in life, including financial freedom. Homes from portable cedar cabins are about half the price of the competition and about a quarter of the cost of a traditional home. Contact Portable Cedar Cabins today. Your worry-free tiny home is waiting for you. Just north of Spirit Lake, Idaho on Highway 41. UFCW 2000 is building a union that fights to make sure that essential workers get better wages, respect on the job, and a safe workplace. Our union believes it's time for the employers to do the right thing and provide the kind of wages, benefits, and schedules that improve both employee services and company commitment. It's a win-win. The company has skilled workers long-term and it strengthens families and the community they live, shop, and work in. And isn't that what every American worker deserves? It's Click It RV's huge open house show and sale going on now with top manufacturers like Forest River, Winnebago, Thor, Jayco, StarCraft, and more. With super low interest rates, zero down, and no payments till July. Enter to win 30000 in cash or a new 2023 StarCraft trailer. There's huge savings on motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and more. So beat the spring rush and don't miss this huge open house sale at Click It RV. One mile past the Y on the Newport Highway. That was money. Yeah. That's a sick bike. Boys. Miss Sanderson? See you Monday. No way. Sign up for the 4 News Now Brainstorm at KXLY.com. The largest crane on the eastern seaboard is now in Baltimore, helping to clear the wreckage from the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. Crews need to move the massive vessel before they can reopen the port, which officials have called vital to both the local and national economy. ABC's Christian Cordero has the latest from Baltimore. The devastation from the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge has closed the Port of Baltimore for days. At the crash site, crews starting the painstaking work to reopen the waterway. Step one of that is we're going to clear the debris from the channel. Step two is we're going to remove the vessel. The Navy dispatching four giant cranes to the scene, hoping to refloat the cargo ship Dolly. Officials say it's a complex task. We have to get that section of bridge that is resting on the front of that vessel off of the vessel. That section weighs more than 9 million pounds and will need to be cut into pieces before it's lifted off the ship, according to the Army Corps of Engineers, which escorted ABC News around the wreckage. Sonar equipment helps them see underneath it, inspecting the damaged bridge and looking for debris. Efforts to find the four construction workers whose remains are still unaccounted for are complicated today by hazardous materials. According to the Coast Guard, the chemicals are believed to be soaps and perfumes, not an environmental threat, but because of sheen found on the waterway, dive operations and vehicle recovery are on pause. Maryland Governor Wes Moore giving an update this afternoon on this Good Friday. To go out there and to see it up close, you realize just how daunting a task this is. And every time you take action to move a piece of wreckage, you understand that that requires you to reassess the situation. One of the massive cranes that's here right now is the Chesapeake 1000, which can lift more than 2 million pounds at a time. It will be a round the clock, expensive and time consuming effort to clear this wreckage and reopen this crucial port. Christian Cordero, ABC News, Baltimore. We have much more coming up tonight at 630, including a brand new Air 4 adventure. Plus, where a new 15-story hotel could be built in downtown Coeur d'Alene. Next on 4 News Now at 6. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. AutoNation Chevrolet gets it. Your life is constantly on the move. That's why we do our part to keep you on the go. Drive a new Chevy Silverado 1500 with $9,000 off. Go to AutoNation Chevrolet today. 
This Thursday through Saturday only, it's the three-day sale at Furniture Row. And that means the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend and watch the savings stack up. You'll find great deals store-wide, like the Bond panel bed, only $6.99, the five-piece Largo dining set for only $9.99, and check out the Keaton sofa for just $9.98. Save up to 400 bucks on Doctor's Choice Elite adjustable mattress sets, plus four years no interest. But hurry, the three-day sale at Furniture Row ends Saturday the 30th. The Zags are moving on. Next stop, Detroit. And 4 News Now will be right there. Join us for special live coverage, exclusive behind-the-scenes action, and more from the Motor City. 4 News Now Road to the Championship is sponsored by Northwest Specialty Hospital. Independent Power Generation wants to help light up the lives of our deserving veterans with the Power for Patriots contest. One veteran will win a state-of-the-art solar panel system courtesy of IPG. Help power a brighter future for a hero by nominating a veteran today at KXLY.com. From Lincoln Center Theater that brought you The King and I and South Pacific comes a sumptuous new revival of the most perfect musical of all time, My Fair Lady. The New York Times calls it thrilling, glorious, and better than it ever was. Bartlett Shear's glowing production is enthralling. Don't miss the smashing, jubilant Lincoln Center Theater production of My Fair Lady. April 2nd through 7th at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Tickets on sale now at broadwayspokane.com. I'm Chad Young from TheEasyHomeBuyer.com. Spokane Quarter Lane's easiest way to sell your house fast. If you have a few moments, I hope you'll give me the opportunity to make you an instant cash offer on your home. With TheEasyHomeBuyer.com, we will buy your house in as-is condition with no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. To get your no-obligation cash offer, give us a call or visit us online at TheEasyHomeBuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the easy You go from one place to another, and then keep going. That's why AutoNation Chevrolet is here to keep you on the go. Drive your favorite new Chevy models with 1.9% financing. Go to AutoNation Chevrolet today. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. A jury has found Gary Alt guilty of killing 83-year-old Richard Purdy in Deer Park in December 2022. Alt's trial began this week. He's also accused of other crimes. The same month, 83-year-old Richard Purdy was murdered, including this one in a video you may remember released by police. You can see a man approaching two women sitting on the ground. He then sprays them with bear spray and kicks them in the head before walking away. Police say this happened in downtown Spokane, December 17th, 2022. Marissa Rio shares more details about Alt's criminal past. That's right, Kirsten. Now, according to court documents, Purdy and his girlfriend made dinner plans the day he was murdered. Well, when he didn't show up, she went to his house only to find his guns lying in the hallway. She said this was weird as he used to always lock up his guns in a safe. It was shortly after that she found him dead in his office. Alt clenched his jaw as the judge read the jury's verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant, Gary Brandon Alt, guilty of the crime of premeditated murder in the first degree as charged in count one. He was also found guilty of first degree murder, unlawful possession of a firearm, and possession of a stolen firearm. The judge also read a special verdict related to charge one, premeditated murder in the first degree. Was the murder committed in the course of, or in furtherance of, or an immediate flight from the crime of first degree burglary or residential burglary? Answer, yes. Alt was escorted out of the courtroom in handcuffs. Back when deputies linked Alt to Purdy's murder through a DNA match, he was already in police custody. Alt was arrested for allegedly assaulting six people across Spokane. Shortly after the bear spray incident, he is accused of attacking two others sitting outside of a business on West Main, and three days later, allegedly hitting a man with a hammer in the bathroom at a store in North Point Plaza. Records show Alt also has 14 prior felony convictions between January 2015 and August 2022. Purdy's family told 4 News Now last January that they felt let down by the justice system for allowing Alt to be back on the streets. Alt is scheduled for sentencing on May 8th. We will continue to update you with any new information as soon as it becomes available. Reporting live in Spokane, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.
Thank you, Marissa. Police are asking for your help to find the rest of the group responsible for robbing two people in downtown Spokane earlier this week. This is the video of the robbery. In it, you see a man in a blue jacket run into his car where he is being chased by a group of people after pulling money out of a nearby ATM. You can also see one of those people try and force the car door open before spraying pepper spray in the car. The man eventually handed the money over to his attackers. Four people are in custody for this attack. If you have any information about the attack or those people who are gathered around that car, you're asked to contact the Spokane Police Department. And we'll turn to your forecast now. And the weather has been much improved today across much of the inland northwest. Let's take a look at... Downtown Spokane bathed in the light of the setting sun here as we get set for a beautiful weekend around our region. Certainly better than it went last weekend. There's still a couple of showers out there, though. As you can see, over the past three hours, we've seen a little bit of shower activity trying to push, it, push its way out of our mountain areas. But that so far has not led to a whole lot. As we zoom in on the radar, however, we do see some sprinkles from just north of Afreda and around Soap Lake all the way to Wilbur and then as far away as Deer Park in Davenport. Now all of this is slowly trying to push to the south, trying to make its way into the Highway 2 corridor and Spokane, but it really is a race against time here at this point. As the sun continues to set, these showers will lose energy and any sprinkles that are out there will gradually fade away. So not expecting a whole lot as we head through the rest of the night. Temperatures will start to fall through the 40s here. We did hit the 50s today, and that's just to be just the beginning of what is going to be a, quite a warming trend here as we head over your Easter weekend. We'll be in the mid 50s for Saturday, upper 50s and 60s for Sunday, and we get even warmer than that heading into a brand new week and a brand new month. More on that coming up in your forecast. Thank you, Matt. And we do want to remind you that you have until Sunday to remove your studded tires and replace them with your normal ones. If you don't do that, you could be hit with a $137 fine in Washington. Kia has recalled more than 427,000 Telluride SUVs. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, this SUV can roll away while in park. All Telluride vehicles made between 2020 and 2023, also some certain uh, 2024, so the brand new ones, are affected by this recall. Owners are being asked to take the SUV to a Kia dealer to have an updated electronic parking brake software installed, and Kia will reimburse you for the repair. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office arrested a man suspected of threatening to kill a woman at a home in northeast Spokane yesterday. According to deputies, the victim called the police, reporting that man was armed with a knife in her home near Regal and Francis. The woman told law enforcement 41-year-old Jesse Lane had been upset for several days and consumed large amounts of drugs and alcohol. She said he assaulted her, strangled her, and threatened to kill her. And when deputies arrived at the home, Lane refused to come out, triggering a standoff. Eventually, SWAT managed to take Lane into custody. He now faces multiple charges, including assault. A new 15-story hotel could soon be coming to downtown Coeur d'Alene. The city's Design Review Commission unanimously approved the project yesterday. It would be built on 1st and Sherman and have 139 rooms. It also will have a 6,000-square-foot restaurant with a rooftop bar. Crews would also build a detached three-level parking garage on 1st and Lakeside Avenue. Construction could begin early next year with the hopes of opening in the spring of 2027. Well, today is National Vietnam War Veterans Day. Many gathered at the Spokane Vet Center to give Vietnam vets the homecoming they didn't receive when they came home from the war 50 years ago. I mean, they were not greeted with, with the parades and the, you know, the thanks that they deserved. And so this is a welcome home day for the Vietnam veterans to say thank you for your service. Thank you for representing the United States. And that's right, thank you for your service. During the event, families had the opportunity to make dog tags of their loved ones to be hung at the memorial. 
Today, volunteers rallied to help a Vietnam veteran with a massive project. For months, Gonzalo Martinez has had a front yard covered in debris. In November, a vista dropped multiple trees on Martinez's property because they were in danger of power lines. After a windstorm took down an additional tree, he was left with a front yard covered in branches. Martinez is a grandpa to 14 kids none of which could safely spend time in front of his house. But now, thanks to a team from Veterans Community Response, his front yard will be transformed. When we found out that they were going to help us, uh, it was like uh, we had won the lottery, literally, honestly. And my, I texted my uh, adult children, and they were so excited for us. And I've told friends who were concerned because they kept asking, and people at church. So everybody was just as thrilled as it could be for us, you know. The community responder team has help from the Spokane Valley Fire Department, Cannon Hill Industries Incorporated, and our very own Mark Peterson to make this project come to life. Martinez says he's overwhelmed with gratitude for all of the volunteers, and if he could give them each a million dollars, he certainly would. Such a good story. Well, coming up next, we're soaring above a trail just outside of Spangle. That's the perfect spot to go for a hike or do a little fishing and a brand new Air Force adventure. Stay with us. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Slam dunk a deal on 170 new Kias at George D. Kia. Washington Trust Bank is a proud sponsor of Bloomsday 2024. Hi, I'm Mike from Mechanics Pride Tire and Automotive. We've been in business now for 34 years. We built this company on honesty, integrity, and we are here for you and your entire family. We have three locations here in town, one downtown on the South Hill and one out in the valley off of Pines. Customer service is our number one priority. At Mechanics Pride Tire and Automotive. Our pride is your satisfaction. Hi, I'm Martita, award-winning interior designer and realtor. And I always stop by consigned furniture and jewelry first. For my interior design projects, there is inspiration everywhere. One-of-a-kind, budget-friendly pieces, all in 60,000 square feet. For my real estate clients, whether they want to buy or sell, I always encourage them to consign. They do all the heavy lifting while you sit back, relax, and collect your check. Consign furniture and jewelry. Smart way to buy, easy way to sell. Washington Trust Bank is a proud sponsor of Bloomsday 2024. Sucker Punched. Next Inside Edition. More and more women coming forward to say they were sucker punched by total strangers. The man came up and punched me in the face. Oh my God. It felt like someone was just like stomping on my head. Look at all these victims. Then, the daughter who altered her mom's wedding dress. The big reveal. Next Inside Edition. Watch 4 News now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. On the road to the championship, we have some sad news to tell you. The Zags did not win in their fight against Purdue. Let's go live now to Peter Choi, who has been at a watch party. And Peter, it's written all over your face. Sounds like the energy's changing in there. Yeah, it definitely changed right after the game. And I mean, the, the basketball investment team's journey it has ended tonight. And some fans has already left the bar. But they tell me that they're disappointed with the result. But at the same time, very thankful for the, another great season uh, tonight. And they said they're fortunate to see a Sweet 16 tournament here. And some fans are saying that uh, they will stay here because there's a women's basketball team at 7. They will stay here at the bar and continue to cheer 
here for the women's basketball team tonight. Back to you. That's right. Go G U women. We're all rooting for them. They're in Portland tonight. We'll exactly. have coverage of that on night side. Thanks so much, Peter. Still a lot of people. At least you can hear that. Well, this morning, customers of One Hayden Coffee Shop got a festive surprise, but it was not from the Easter Bunny. Look at your screen, Matt. <laughs> yeah, nice. it was... A what? dinosaur, oh my goodness. Triple play, family fun parks, beloved mascot Stanley the dinosaur, serving up some coffee. <laughs> he was giving out dinosaur <laughs> eggs. Oh man, filled with lots of surprises. <laughs> I guess every customer got a dino egg. Some had free water park and game passes. Others had coupons for free coffee. Okay. I'm into it. Maybe that's better than the Easter Bunny. You know, there's one of those commercials. I'm pretty sure is either Stanley or his brother wanted to be a was trying to do some meteorology there. I think you got to stick to the got to stick to the water park stuff, Stan. Let's hear from one of the customers. Um, my girlfriend told me to come to this stand, but didn't really tell me why. And then um, I saw a dinosaur, and I kind of love dinosaurs, so I was really okay with it. And there's Allison Martinez laughing right along with him. To see more of Stanley and the full story from Allison, you can head to our website, kxly.com. Do you think he can do the weather? I mean, I, I think it's a little questionable. Yeah. Um, I'm questionable if he would fit on the screen. He's mm -hmm. kind of a big kind of a big fella. Yeah, I've always wanted to challenge a meteorologist. Maybe it will be you to wear one of those inflatable ones. Oh, the inflatable t For Halloween. Oh, I've no. seen other meteorologists do it. Maybe it's our All right, year. we'll clip this and let's save it for a few months <laughs> down the road. You heard it here first. And we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get it, uh, we can see if we can get it past the, uh, the checks and balances at the top of the office. Well, here's something else for you since we're in a bit of a funny mood. Uh, you know, the way I see it, there's seven stages of winter, right? And we've all been through this and we all, as we get towards the back end of the snow season, we start to get into the mode of how long is this gonna take? Well, we always know there's usually something like three weeks sometimes where there's nothing going on. And then we have a second round of winter. We've already had our fall spring where we were in the 70s a couple weeks ago. We've had some more snow last weekend. And you know what? With all our road construction stories here on 4 News Now, I'd say this is right about where we are. And but there's one more thing before we actually get to spring. When will all the winter weather end? Well, unfortunately, it's not over just yet. The way things are looking in your extended forecast, but we've got some beautiful weather over the next four days. This black line is around 52 degrees. That's our average high for this time of the year in Spokane. We're gonna go way, way above that. More 70s coming up later on. Well, I guess the beginning of next week after what should be a beautiful Easter weekend. Now, once we get past Tuesday, that's when things get a little bit sketchy and you need to take a look here. So this is the uh, Climate Prediction Center outlook. Now, this was uh, much lighter colors of blue yesterday. So it just goes to show you growing confidence that there is going to be a big shot of cool air coming in for the beginning of April after the first couple of days of the month. And with temperatures this anomalously cool, it is likely that somebody is going to at least see a wintry mix, especially with some moisture added to the equation. Now, there's a lot of moving parts here. Things are definitely going to change in the forecast, but here is the general idea. High pressure comes in for the next few days. We see that warming weather. Things get really, really beautiful all the way up through Tuesday. But starting Wednesday, cool air slams back in. We get windy weather. We will likely see some wet weather come along for the ride, although there is uh, a lot of variance right now about how wet it will actually be next week. We got some time to sort that out. But what you should know is to not put the sweaters away just yet or the raincoats either. That's going to be our next rain chance when that cool air starts to come back in next Wednesday. But in the meantime, we've got some beautiful conditions. Lows tonight in the upper 20s and low 30s, just a slight little bit below what our average is for this point in the year. And then we've got middle 50s for tomorrow. We'll see some 60s in places like Moses Lake, Lewiston, and the Tri-Cities. And here are the next seven days, but look at the temperature drop from Tuesday where we peak around 70, and then we take a huge drop, almost... 20 degrees, in fact, over 20 degrees by the time we get between Tuesday and Thursday. And yes, I have gone ahead and put a little 
potential for some winter mix here coming in for Thursday. Like I said, plenty of time for things to change, but certainly the, uh, the overall aura of what's going on outside, Kirsten, is going to be a lot different this time next week. I'm in the when will this end section of that <laughs> early graphic. Thanks, yes, Matt. yes, me too. <laughs> well, this weekend is looking like a great time to get outside and enjoy nature as it wakes up from winter. The rugged Channel Scablands south of Sprague, Washington offers beauty you won't see from I-90. Tonight's Air 4 adventure takes us to the Escure Ranch Towel Falls Trail. Grab a pair of good hiking boots, your mountain bike, or even your fishing pole. The trail from Escure Ranch to Towel Falls has a little bit of everything. It follows the flow of Rock Creek through the Channel Scablands. You'll be greeted by wildflowers. Cliffs of basalt tower up. There's a good chance you'll see deer, an elk, maybe a wily coyote. Keep an eye out for rattlesnakes. The payoff is reaching the falls. There are three of them. The creek splits, forming an island. The largest falls is in the western channel. Make sure to bring water and food. It's a little more than six miles round trip. At the trailhead, you can wander over and take a look at the old ranch. A testament to the people of the past who saw beauty in this rugged land and turned it into a beautiful life. Brian Neal, 4 News Now. Beautiful. Well, here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Fishing trip hit a snag. Won't stop us. In a Nissan SUV, adventure begins where the road ends. Drive a Nissan SUV. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue or get 2.9% financing for 60 months on Pathfinder. It is a nightclub in here. Let's live. Something's happening to me. From American Horror Story, Emma Roberts. Watch live Monday at 9, right after GMA. It's time to drive the deal. Wendell Ford has tons of vehicles for you to choose from, so it's time to drive the deal. Escape, 0% for 66 months and up to $2,000 in cash. The versatile Mach-E, 0% for 72 months plus $3,000 in bonus cash. Or America's truck, the F-150, 1.9% for 72 months. And this weekend, get an additional $500 on every trade-in. It's time to drive the deal. This weekend, at Wendell Ford at the Y on North Division. Independent Power Generation wants to help light up the lives of our deserving veterans with the Power for Patriots contest. One veteran will win a state-of-the-art solar panel system courtesy of IPG. Help power a brighter future for a hero by nominating a veteran today at KXLY.com. There's nothing better than the delightful, dozing, dreamy drowsiness that comes with the perfect mattress. And at Denver Mattress, finding your perfect mattress has never been easier. And during the three-day sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Take 100 bucks off every 1000 you spend. Or save up to $400 on Doctor's Choice Elite Adjustable Mattress Sets, plus four years no interest and free shipping. Score some sweet savings on some serious shut-eye. Only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress.
An unusual meeting in New York last night. The current president and three former presidents all in one city. The Democrats raising money for President Biden and former President Trump attending a wake for a fallen NYPD officer. ABC's Alexis Christophorus has the details. A star-studded night at New York's iconic Radio City Music Hall, raising more than $25 million for President Joe Biden's re-election campaign. How would you describe what's at stake in this election? I think our democracy is at stake. Some 5,000 supporters paying between 250 and half a million dollars to see President Biden share the stage with his two Democratic predecessors, Barack Obama and Bill Clinton, in conversation with late night host Stephen Colbert. Musical acts Queen Latifah and Lizzo got the party started, as seen in this video shared on X by the DNC chair. We got three Select portions of the event were released to the media, and reporters in attendance say the three presidents were interrupted at least six times, including by this anti-Ukraine activist. Outside, hundreds of pro-Palestinian demonstrators clashing with police, urging President Biden to back an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. This one event raising more money than rival Donald Trump raised all last month. We have to get back to law and order. We have to do... A lot of things differently, but this is not working. This is happening too often. The presumptive Republican presidential nominee was also in New York yesterday, calling for law and order as he attended the wake of a New York City police officer gunned down in the line of duty. As for President Biden, he's attending one more campaign event in New York City today before he and First Lady Jill Biden head to Camp David for the Easter holiday. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. At Jewelry Design Center, we want to be your jeweler for life. We're the largest independent diamond supplier in the Northwest, bringing you the best quality, the best care, the best diamonds at the best and lowest price first. Experience unrivaled expertise at any one of our locations. We're a family business with one goal, to be your jeweler for life. Jewelry Design Center since 1977. Save now at Buy Mart with our latest savings book. Watch for it in your mailbox or pick up a copy in store. Save more store wide on everything you need for spring and more at Buy Mart. Northwest employee owned for 20 years. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get $5,000 total value on Silverado LTZ and High Country models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing in all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. It's a two-night idol event. Let, Let the, the games, games begin! begin! Will your favorites survive the biggest cut? In idol history. We're going down to 24. American Idol two-night event Sunday and Monday on ABC. From Lincoln Center Theater that brought you The King and I and South Pacific comes a sumptuous new revival of the most perfect musical of all time, My Fair Lady. The New York Times calls it thrilling, glorious, and better than it ever was. Bartlett Shear's glowing production is enthralling. Don't miss the smashing, jubilant Lincoln Center Theater production of My Fair Lady. April 2nd through 7th at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Tickets on sale now at broadwayspokane.com. This Thursday through Saturday only, it's the three-day sale at Furniture Row. And that means the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend and watch the savings stack up. You'll find great deals store-wide, like the Bond panel bed, only $6.99, the five-piece Largo dining set for only $9.99, and check out the Keaton sofa for just $9.98. Save up to 400 bucks on Doctor's Choice Elite adjustable mattress sets. Plus, four years, no interest. But hurry, the three-day sale at Furniture Row ends Saturday the 30th. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. And we could not have asked for a better Easter weekend. Could not ask for a better start to the month of April. April mm. Fool's Day, 65, looking pretty darn nice. And just ignore the back end of that forecast. <laughs> we don't see it. You see nothing. Less than three minutes away from the Gonzaga women's game. Go Zags. 
Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now 